hey guys it's been a while i'm i'm back with a simple geometry no well not simple but mid to uh geometry nodes tutorial on how to do a lod system in geometry nodes this is a um if you don't know what lod stands for it's usually used in video games but it could also be used in other uh places this is level of detail so as the camera gets further away from an object, it will be swapped out for maybe a lower poly object, so it doesn't consume as much uh, as much information or data in the render and can help with render times. So let me show you quickly how it looks like here. In this scene, we have a setup. We have our LOD variance. So every time, um, just to show you. It starts from the sphere to a icosphere to an even lower, um, it's just above both cube and then finally a cube. And if we go into our camera view, as the camera goes out, it starts to switch into um, more simplified geometry until finally it disappears. And as we go back in, it switches into our uh, higher res. If I were to solid view this, you could see uh, it's a little bit clear. Switches, and then once again goes in and switches back. The nodes are, c you are able to control the distance of when these switches happen through here. So it's, uh, once the, it, the distance of five is reached, or five meters, I believe, is reached, um it will switch but we could easily switch that to 15 and once it, the camera is 15 meters away it will switch uh our lod our last lod you um it reaches a meter of 200 before it just disappears you can increase that to 1000 if you like if you just don't want it to disappear or however further you you would like and here you could select which camera it would be that you want to use the distance or you could even select an object and base it off of an animated object but that's a different set we're gonna stick with the camera for now so if we look into our geometry nodes it doesn't have actually that many nodes as you th as you see it's mostly repeated but um, nevertheless I will explain it so uh, let's uh, let's get started so All right, here we are in a new scene. We are going to bring in a uh, Suzanne, and we're actually going to, this is gonna be our LOD one. We're gonna move this down. And um, so now we're gonna add on this one, a subdivision modifier so that it is higher poly. Uh, apply the subdiv modifier, and we are going to call this LOD zero, which is our original. You could really name it whatever you want, but I'm just gonna name it LOD so we can keep track. We're going to do one more. This is going to be LOD2. Add a decimate modifier. Cut it in half. Apply it. And then our final LOD3. And do add another decimate modifier and cut it in half. And there we go. We have our level of detail set up. So here we have our high poly going into much lower poly, which goes into much lower poly, and on the lowest poly. So now let's get started. So we're going to add a cube, which we're going to instantly disappear in geometry nodes. Add the system. I'm going to name this LOD. So let's cut off that line, and we are going to uh, add a point. And that's going to uh, put a single point in our scene. Don't mess around with it too much. And we're going to instance on point. And we're going to bring in our object. And instant LOD zero. Now up here we can control G this so that we create a single node. This is going to be our LOD node. Okay, now from here, we want to bring in a couple of more nodes. So let's give ourselves some space. 
we are going to need a delete geometry node. Add that in there. And we're going to need a vector math, set the distance. And here is where we're going to need our camera. So let's add a camera into the scene. Set that into our view using control alt zero. And then uh, in our geometry nodes, I'm going to pin this so I don't lose it. I'm going to drag in our camera and I'm going to rename this node up here, camera. I'm going to need an input position so to get the position of the um, geometry in relative to the camera. So location, set that to relative, position and location. And now we have the distance from our camera and our position. From there, this, this value will tell us uh, what to do. However, this value is a float and we need to convert it to a Boolean. So let us uh, let us work on that. So we're going to need a utility. Bring in a boolean math because we're going to need that later. But compare, and now we are going to compare a to the distance that we set b. So that there and now this is the initial setup all complete now we're going to start rewiring stuff to make it cleaner we're going to bring our object into the group input and we are going to name the group here LOD0 bring in uh, B into the second one and this is LOD0 distance Right now the distance is set to 0, we're going to make it a default of 10 and switch the distance to 10 and there is our Suzanne. This is our high poly mesh as you can see and as we move further, once we reach 10 meters, she disappears. So we are going to now add in our second. Okay, let's add another instance to point. Duplicate our delete geometry and our object info. Set that there. We're going to pick LOD1 and set this into our object. Move it up. LOD1. Now, we can't just duplicate the greater than. We are actually going to set it to a less than. Well, I mean, I guess we can duplicate it, but <laughs> just set it to less than. And this is where our uh, boolean math will have to come in handy set it to or and this is where it gets a little bit weird so we are going to have to compare LOD 0 and LOD 1 to the to itself so like so it doesn't override itself I assume so I let me just show you I, I'm not great at explaining these things I love how I say I'm not great at explaining these things and I'm and I'm making tutorials but Whatever, <laughs> you know, I just follow along. So we are going to compare the greater than or the and the less than. So that way, if uh, both of these are true, they'll, it'll follow through. Set that into our delete geometry. And make sure, because I always forget, add the deleted geometry into the points. I always forget that, and then I wonder why isn't it working. So we are going to set our distance into the top socket. It's always going to go in the top socket regardless. Less than is going to compare itself is, is going to uh, compare itself into the first LOD. And then greater than is going to be in the new LOD. So we are going to call this LOD1 distance. And then we are going to join the geometry. And now, if we move back, it'll disappear. Why? Because we didn't set our distances. So let's set our distance to fifth, uh, 15 and set our default to 15. So now, if we move back, you'll see. It switches into the low poly 
as we move out and then it disappears once again. Now we're going to continue to do this for the rest of the uh, LOD. So right now we are at LOD 1. We want to do LOD 2 and 3 next. So we're just going to repeat the process. Cu duplicate the instance. Duplicate the, uh, the delete and the object. Make sure to switch this to LOD 2 and bring it into the uh, no network, the, uh, um, the op input, um, call this LOD2. And now once again, make sure to bring in delete geometry into the points. Duplicate our previous node network. Uh, we could actually make some more space by just minimizing that. And then we can bring this one up just so we're not reaching all over the place. This goes into our boolean, and then once our distances go into the top socket, less than goes into the previous, greater than goes into the new. And then L this is LOD2 distance, and we're going to set it as a default of 25. And if we tab back out, set it to a distance of 25 move our camera further back it disappears because we didn't join the geometry like a dumbass there we go and so there and now we need to do our final which i'm just going to do sped up because it's the same thing and there we go we have one one we have zero one two three and then disappears now you could also set up a forced LOD um, LOD four using a switch node because you know you know me I love s my switch nodes so if we set up our switch to be over here it's here to true then sets up there but uh, we are going to need to do some changes I think actually because it does disappear if it goes too close so really what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new a just a simple instance And set points once again. And then LOD3 will be over here. Actually, what I can do is I can just grab this one, create a reroute, and then just drag it here. That way it's a little bit cleaner. And from there, I just set this into the true. And now if I just continuously move, it's going to always be LOD4. And then I just switch it off and it'll be working in the LOD system. You could do this for any really set as well. So like if I wanted to add a um, switch for the highest poly so that it doesn't do the LOD system, I could do that too. All I would need to do is... Um, set jet again another switch and duplicate uh, these two add that into the switch add this into LOD 0 and add points and then if I bring in that switch we now have two switches I could either do high poly or low poly. Uh, so we can quickly rename these so that it's not as confusing. LOD3 uh, toggle. LOD0 toggle. And there, now we have our toggles. Of course, if we have both of them off, we'll just get a regular LOD system until it disappears. And then uh, we could just 
continuously edit our system. So that is how you make a simple LOD node and then you can just since you made it into a node you could just drag it into any uh, instance. You will need to do a point though so um, because it is controlled through instances on points. Uh, but yeah it's there you go. Something simple and now regardless of where your camera is based on its distance it will change. I am just not in a good <laughs> mind especially when I'm trying to do two things at once but yeah there you go I hope this you found this helpful and interesting so I hope you all enjoyed it if you have questions ask it in the comments someone will probably a answer and figure it out if I have the answers I'll do it but um yeah <laughs> I hope you enjoy see ya